Now let's head out to Weather Authority meteorologist Peter Hall out on the weather deck. And Peter, I know there's some events right there, but for other events people got going on for Central New York tomorrow, what could they be looking for? Well, if you're hoping for some more sunshine, I think that's definitely going to happen versus what we had today. Today wasn't all that bad. It was there was some sun, kind of filtered sun, and right now it's pretty cloudy, but a good chunk of our area is pretty dry. Let's see exactly how things roll for tonight, tomorrow, and beyond. So in short, let's go over kind of in stages, and then we'll get into the details. Sunday situation, brighter by comparison, and likely either completely dry or mostly dry, depending on where you're watching us from, as I'll show you. Monday's mantra, well, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds again. There's a better chance Monday versus Sunday at a passing shower or thunderstorm or two, but neither day is a washout. After that, Tuesday and beyond, yes, as you go deeper into the seven-day forecast, typically things can change, but this has a much, much higher uncertainty than normal. And part of that is that tropical storm we just mentioned earlier in the newscast, Debbie. We'll explain why in a minute. First, underneath the clouds, there's not a lot of rain, but did want to make mention of something in case you're watching us around Ithaca. There's a downpour just to your southwest. Granted, it's outside of our area, but it is possible, not just over there in southwestern Tompkins County, but any one spot tonight might get a brief isolated shower, thunder shower, but nothing that's going to be overwhelming or lasting that long. So most of us tonight just have some clouds. There is, by the way, an opportunity right around sunset for some thinning of the clouds, potentially for a pretty sunset. But otherwise, notice how clouds mostly are kind of exiting with only an isolated shower. Keep an eye on Sunday's sky here. You're noticing less gray, more nothing, which means the sun's out. And that's why I think tomorrow's a brighter day. It's also a hotter day. Now, today was no slouch. We got to 87. With more sun tomorrow, I think we make 90 in Syracuse, everyone else in the 80s. You see the coverage of a spotty shower thunderstorm, really isolated and brief. So if you get one, you're unlucky. It doesn't last very long. So Sunday is a mainly dry and summery day. It takes care of Sunday, and Sunday evening is pretty quiet other than a brief shower up north. So remember Monday I said a better chance of a shower thunderstorm. You can see why. You see it up here in the morning? Well, as we get well into the 80s on Monday, this thing is going to come through, and with it, you see right there, during the afternoon, an opportunity and a likelihood of a shower thunderstorm. Monday is actually a better chance than tomorrow. But again, even that's fairly brief and passing through. After that, we'll keep an eye on this system. I, it is debating whether we're going to get this Canadian system sliding through with a threat for rain. We're going to keep some of this rain in the forecast. That's number one uncertainty is whether or not we get rain from this Canadian system. This system will lower the humidity starting Wednesday. So despite you're going to see on Wednesday around 80, notice the low is in the 50s, so it feels better. Now, how does this make any sense with the uncertainty with Tropical Storm Debbie? Well, tropics, tropical humidity, right? So while Debbie should stay well south of our area, at least for a while, it's going to try to push that tropical air back at us. And how far north that goes will ultimately determine how much rain we get out of it. We're going to go with a threat for rain end of next week. Stay tuned for updates on that. Back inside.